Hi, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. Today's episode is about conflict and how we might deal with conflict, whether that's in a relationship or it could be a work situation or it could be something else. Um, it could be anything really. Um, uh, like when when something like conflict happens, it's usually a um, some words that are thrown about <laughs> from another person or from ourselves or something you know that we can't really deal with or something that we can't really get our head around if someone wants us to do things a certain way you know and we we just don't want to do it or it's against our ethos or you know whatever it may be. Um, there's you know there's different approaches to take with conflict uh, I would say I like to take the the approach of empathy um, trying to understand you know where that person is coming from and kind of why they're acting uh, the way that they're acting or the, what's what's causing it like what's 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 the root to it you know or why what makes them act a certain way where does where does that come from um like like we don't we are all kind of brought up in i suppose in different ways and we've all experienced um lives in a different way to another person you know how that person has experienced it the one that we might be having conflict with might have experienced it in a very different way that we have um, and I think it's important to understand that um, at one stage that person was a child, <laughs> you know, and they might have grown up in different circumstances to you, how, that, how they might have been treated as children, for instance, might kind of reflect the way that they approach people um, today. Um, it really does depend on the type of conflict. Um, and, you know, if it's a relationship, let's say, how they might approach certain things or certain issues is something that has kind of grown over time, don't you think, you know, um, that has developed into the person that they are or how they, how they treat other people. Um, and that, that kind of comes out or that gets projected towards you. Um, similar to, to work, you know, I would say, with work, it's a bit different, I would say, because people have to be or have to have a certain level of professionalism. I would say it has, you know, has been something that has developed from the early work stages. And even I'm not saying that none of it comes from childhood, but, you know, to keep that level of professionalism the whole way through, it might be something that progressed and grew from earlier roles that the person might have had, you know, um, and how they might have been treated in their work situation. Uh, that might also go with relationships, actually, how, how people have been treated in the past might come into something new. Um, and, and that kind of, that kind of holds with, a that, that stays with a person, uh, experiences that they've had, and they might project out, let's say, insecurities that they've dealt with um, to the next relationship that they get into, you know? And that's why I add empathy. There's so many different factors, you know, that might be causing a conflict. Um, there's so many different ways to look at it, you know? It mightn't necessarily be your fault at all. I, like, I don't think there's any faults in it. I just think that... You know, I, I suppose the way people interact and communicate can be kind of difficult to to see what's really happening or what's causing that or the emotions around it rather than, let's say, in work situation where it's deadlines um, or relationships. It could be responsibilities and things like that. Um, a good way to, 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 kind of, to kind of think about conflict is if you put yourself in the shoes of the person that you're having the conflict with you know and you kind of you know let's say whatever whatever they're saying to you um you kind of you say it but you analyze 
the words and where what place they might be coming from. Why might that person be saying that? You know, the reasons behind it. What do they want to get from you by saying those things? Or what uh, do they need to get done by saying those things? What pressures might be on them for them to say those things to you? And when we when we look at it that way, when we change that perspective, it kind of changes how we might look at the situation itself. I think that's important, you know. And then, you know, going back into yourself, um, how you might see it differently, seeing it from their perspective. You could also see it from a fly in the wall perspective of the situation outside of yourself. If you can imagine two different people um, having that conflict and what they might see or what the fly might see on the wall, you know how it kind of evolves and what the situation really is. Um, yeah, and I think to understand where that might be coming from kind of gives more insight in how to solve the conflict in the first place. I, like, I would be the kind of person that would be against, you know, because it, I, it doesn't work, <laughs> you know, a lot of the time it doesn't work where you fight conflict with conflict, you know, it's just, it's a lot of energy and it's a lot of defensiveness, uh, which causes more conflict and long term, it's not sustainable to just constantly be, be kind of butting heads with somebody um, and not trying to understand where they're coming from. To understand where the person is coming from or to kind of apply some empathy in what kind of developed them into the person that they are. Because we all came from somewhere. And just because our experiences or your experience is a certain way, you know, from, from let's say, childhood, um, what you've grown into, it doesn't mean that everybody else's experiences were the same, you know. So for someone to see it, and likewise, for someone to see it from your point of view, they kind of have to go into your shoes. Um, but since it's just me and you, <laughs> whoever you are, uh, to see it from another person's point of view is very, very important, I think, for, you know, to understand where it comes from and then to kind of make the decision on what you're going to do next and how you're going to approach it. Um, approaching any situation with kindness, with understanding, um, definitely can, can de-escalate, de-escal de-escalate the situation a lot more. Um, to see it from another person's point of view, to communicate that, um, to let them know that you've thought about it from their point of view and to like still be able to convey your concerns, but in a more like understanding way, um, where they feel understood. I suppose that's, that's a very important part where they feel understood and that's a good way to, to kind of de-escalate a situation and uh, communication is very important you know and we can sometimes get confused that uh, these people that we might be dealing with especially in work where they're just these stone cold people but actually they have lives behind it and uh, they have a story just like you have a story and they came from somewhere and we don't actually know what they might be experiencing outside of work that might be causing that as well. So it's important to be mindful of these things that we don't always have all the information at hand about what someone is going through and whatnot. And empathy is a big thing. If we can be more empathetic of what people might be going through, what they have been through, and what has them acting a certain way uh, that we dislike it is important in you know how we deal with things uh, how we deal with conflict so that's me for today um 
as usual please like share and subscribe um if you want to leave a comment uh about anything that you'd like me to discuss please feel free uh also my website is thomasbrown.com if you want to check it out <laughs> uh, that'll be great and until the next video i hope you have an amazing day an amazing weekend take care bye bye